Uh, to me, what happened in there is a sham uh, and a shame, and it's a fraud. Attorney Oscar Goodman after his client, Joey Cusimano, becomes the 17th person to be entered on the list of excluded persons, which looks like a cheap high school yearbook and contains mugshots of notorious people who are now barred from casinos. An attorney for the state had argued that Cusimano was a perfect candidate for the black book. He had done time in prison on a labor racketeering conviction. He was friends with Tony Spilatro, the suspected mob overlord whose body was found brutally beaten in a Midwestern cornfield several years ago. As a result of Spilatro's premature demise, there now is a void in the control of the Chicago Mob's business ventures here in Las Vegas. As the evidence shows, Joey Cusimano has been groomed to step in and fill Spilatro's shoes as the overseer of Chicago's interests in Nevada. But Cusimano's attorney painted a different picture. Oscar Goodman said his client now has a legitimate job working for a local video production company, a job he'd have trouble doing if he were prohibited from entering casinos. Goodman played a videotaped interview with filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, who is ironically the producer of the Godfather movies. Coppola praised Cusimano for helping him make the film The Cotton Club. Finally, Goodman argued that Cusimano was being persecuted by gaming officials simply because he's an Italian. It's easy to include somebody who stereotypically fits the image that most people have of Italian Americans as being associated with some type of mafia or criminal element. But it was an argument the commission didn't buy, and after they voted to put Cusimano in the black book, Goodman had one final word. It was a kangaroo court. And he promised Cusimano would file an appeal as soon as he could. Eric Spillman, Eyewitness News 8.